Hello VBK and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working with our sight words and all you need is a marker and Play-Doh. Now if you are not comfortable writing on your table, of course it is a washable marker, just go ahead and use any kind of piece of paper, write the sight word that I'm going to be doing and you just trace it with your Play-Doh. So I'm going to be writing upside down, that way you can see it from your point of view. So our first sight word that we're going to do is cat. So I'm going to do C. A and T. Now, when you're writing out, you can always sound out your letters. K, K, A, act. You can also point out the vowel. We have an A, which is a vowel. Uh, they do know the vowels and they have learned them, so it's always good to just add a little bit more into your lesson. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Play-Doh. All you need is a little bit because Play-Doh goes a long way and you don't wanna overuse it. You can use any color that you want. You can do rainbow color. Whatever you have is totally fine. So I'm gonna roll it into a snake because a C is really easy to work with. And I'm just going to follow it along the letter. Now I used all lowercase letters. You can use uppercase letters just to be creative. You can use all lowercase. You can use a capital C, whatever you like, but I'm just doing lowercase. So we have our C and I'm gonna again break apart the Play-Doh. And we're gonna do A. And A says ah. This also helps with fine motor skills. This also helps with our letter recognition and the sound. So you're getting a lot of different lessons in one, also while being creative. We're gonna do our T again, break apart the Play-Doh. And roll it. You can even roll on the table. So we have our first letter. We have cat, k, k, at, at. And you can even build it into a sentence. You can say, I have a cat, or I like cats. You can just be really creative. So the next word I'm gonna do is good. Now I picked good because it has a double vowel in it. Now, when you see a double vowel, you're always gonna get a ooh sound. So always practice that when you have a double vowel. Again, I'm just gonna break apart my Play-Doh. And I'm just going to keep tracing it. Now, some letters might require a little bit more Play-Doh, Play but a little bit does go a long way. So you can be very mindful with it. Now this exercise will take a little bit longer. I am doing it a little bit quicker, but it will take a little bit longer and you can do other words if you like. So I'm gonna go on to the O. And after you have traced your sight words, you can always write them out on paper. You can use, um, marker, crayon, you can even paint your sight words just to get that extra writing practice in. And you can use different sight words. You don't have to do good or cat. You can do play, you can do dog, you can do it, you can do is. So there's a lot of different words that uh, you can play with. And if you happen to save the homework um, at home that we did, you can always go through the old homework if you have it and just look at the other sight words that they got to work with and you can always use those too. So there is a lot of flexibility. So we have our two words, good and cat, and that is it for this lesson.